Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, make an image like the one that's on Glazefolio Design Blog with uh, where it says graphic design and it's uh, spelled into uh, my beard actually. Um, I had a request on YouTube from somebody asking for this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, please feel free to submit your own requests uh, on either YouTube or on, uh, on the website itself and I'll try to go ahead and make those tutorials for you. Uh, this one's uh, fairly simple, um, <clears throat> and I'll just show you a, a quick way that you could do this. Um, and uh, what what I did is uh, I had an image of myself with my beard. Uh, this is not me. I got this image off of a free uh, stock photography website. Uh, but what I did is I took a picture of myself with my beard, and uh, I <clears throat> I put that on my computer, and then I uh, shaved the part of my beer, beard beard. Um, where I wanted it to say graphic design and I took a picture of the, myself uh, like that as well and uh, and it probably looked something kind of like this I uh, I edited this in uh, Photoshop and I did it before the video so that you didn't have to watch me do it it's uh, it just involves clone stamping and patching uh, some of the hair from down here up here um, so in any case um, that's what I did so I, I took a picture of myself with my full beard and then I shaved this section of my beard and took another picture and um, and then now I had them both um, in Photoshop and I put them in the in the same uh, document such as this one um, we'll go ahead and name name uh, the, this uh, beard and we'll pretend like this uh, second layer that I made was the second picture after I had shaved and so I had sh my shaved picture. And so what I did is I had my one picture with my beard, and then I had my other picture with where I had shaved, and I had them in two separate layers, um, the shaved layer being on top of my beard layer. And then what I did simply is that I added a mask to my, uh, my shaved layer, and I just did that by going to my layers palette and clicking on this little add a mask uh, button down at the bottom. After that, I... Uh, I took the eraser tool and I made my brush kind of small about 150 pixels or so and I made sure um, by clicking up at the top here and opening up my uh, settings that my hardness was also at uh, around zero and then uh, simply from there you just go ahead and start erasing back in the part of the beard that you want to show through and you can do as much as you want and uh, kind of um, you know the less perfect the letters are and that sort of thing um, the the better it's going to kind of look and what uh, so this is how I kind of got started anyway so I'll just go ahead and do GDB here for Glaze Folio Design Blog GDB like I said, imperfection is the name of the game when you're doing something by hand, so you can have it as sloppy as you want, like that B is definitely not perfect. But anyway, uh, there we go, that's what we have right now. Uh, and we're not going to stop there, we're going to go ahead and add another layer on top of all of them. We're going to call this clone stamp, or just, you can name it stamp or something. Because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to select our clone stamping tool, we're going to make sure that uh, up here at the top it says uh, all layers, so it'll sample from all of our layers. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and zoom in by selecting our zoom tool in the tool palette. We want to zoom in to about just the beard area. And as you can see, this is already looking decent, but uh, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the edges look like there's hair coming off of them and they're not just uh, erased by in. So what I'll do is uh, in this new layer that I named stamp, we have our clone stamp tool and we have all of our layers uh, that it's from and we'll go ahead and make the brush size around 150 125 and the hardness can be fairly soft maybe at around let's do 35 and we'll go ahead and just click something else to get out of that and what we'll do is um, 
make a selection of a beard that has the same sort of coloration as the edge that you want to color on. And uh, So what we'll do is we'll select from maybe this area here to kind of color the edge around this area. And we, you can kind of just go over even what you've already done. Just kind of click a little bit and take another sam uh, sample and just kind of click. And you, uh, and you know, if it doesn't look good, just erase that area and it'll go back to uh, what you had before. So uh, maybe I'll pull from the mustache actually, it has some good ends over here. And we will press Alt, and we have our clone stamp button here, and we press Alt, and click to make a selection, and you can kind of just click around the edges that you think need a little bit of work. Like right here, could use a little bit, so I'll maybe pull from maybe this area here, press Alt, click, and we have our selection, and just go ahead and click there. And maybe the B needs a little work right on the bottom side, so we can make a selection right here. Press uh, Alt and click. And kind of just go over it. And as you can see, the, is that uh, 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 is that sometimes it doesn't look that good. And uh, what you can do is you just go into your uh, history, you go up to window, and history, and you just take back those ones that don't look very good. And you just come up with a new selection. So maybe I'll select from maybe somewhere in here and try that. So I'll press Alt, make my selection, and maybe I'll make the brush a little softer, maybe go down to zero and just go ahead and click in down at the bottom there and that looks a little better yeah okay and that's just soft softening up that edge a little bit make another selection right here and kind of go up the side here a little bit and I'll take a selection here and complete that D since there wasn't any hair on, uh, right there on this person's face uh, and if you want to make these uh, the holes a little better, you can certainly do that too. And just make a selection, and click, 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 and you just kind of do that around the whole thing. And if you wanted to make this more defined, you could click in a kind of a blank area, and make a few clicks in there, and that'll uh, soften that up a little bit. And like this area here probably needs a little bit of hair in it. So you can go to an area that has hair and press Alt. And that's a little too much. Let's go to maybe this area, press Alt and click. And click in there. Click. click. Maybe select right here. Click, click. Yeah, and just kind of go around and do that. Um, maybe you click here even, and do something like that, just to kind of soften it up a little bit. Once again, and that's pretty much it. Actually, um, you just kind of keep messing around with it till you get to something that looks uh, pretty good. Um, honestly, with the uh, with the web, uh, you can get away with a little bit more. Um, since it's uh, 72 DPI and all that stuff. See, these look a little bit too strong in my opinion, so I might go in and go to my layer, uh, and maybe either dumb down the layer a little bit, or go in and do a little bit more clone stamping. So right now 50% kind of dumbs it down a little bit, and it looks a lot better. Um, but certainly you know, go ahead and go in and do a bit more clone stamping and make that look a little bit more realistic. Um, like these ones. These ones look a little bit better. Okay. Um, I hope that helps you out. Um, uh, and I hope you learned something. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my blog. 
and uh, please like this video on YouTube, and uh, please subscribe to me on YouTube, and uh, tell your friends. Thank you very much.